let's go through the last topic which is the rate of change so rate of change we're basically going to work with first order and second order derivative so in the first case what is a first order derivative first order derivative the first order derivative shows us the change in y relative to the change in x so let's say that we change x by one unit we increase x by one unit how does y change well if y goes up it means that the function goes up and if y goes down it means that the function goes down so we know that if the rate of change or the first order derivative is positive then the function is increasing but if the opposite happens and the rate of change is negative then the function is decreasing that would be with the first order derivative but what does the second order derivative show us well the second order derivative shows us how does this change occur does the function increase at an increasing rate or at a decreasing rate or the opposite does the function decrease at an increasing rate or at a decreasing rate don't get confused about all these things we'll do it on a graph in the next video but that's the that's the idea behind it that if the second order derivative is positive it means that the function changes at an increasing rate so increasing rate increasing rate of change and if it's an increasing rate of change we have a convex shape convex shape but if the opposite happens and we have that the second order derivative is negative then we have a decreasing rate of change rate of change so we have a concave shape that's it for this video in the next video we'll show it on a graph